Our bad publicity is good for us. This is a quote from CIG according to a new article on the website Asia One. It's echoing the sentiments from that old saying, there's no such thing as bad publicity. Asia One then have said CIG feel that this holds a very true for them. But not only that, that bad publicity brings them extra funds and extra players. Now, the article reports on a conversation between the website Asia One and the Vice President of Marketing for CIG, Elliot Chin. There's also some quotes in there from Erin Roberts as well as Tyler Whitkin. The conversation took place in Bar Citizen in Asia around about September of this year, so a little while ago now, but it was only recently reported, recently posted to the website on the 9th of December. There's a few interesting tidbits in the article, so I want to go through them. Additionally, it gives a nice insight into CIG's thinking and approach towards the production of both Star Citizen as well as Squadron 42. It's well known then that at this point, crowdfunding for Star Citizen began over 10 years ago, back in 2012. As of this date, they've raised over half a billion dollars and are still in Alpha Access. Elliot Chin discusses an upcoming beta, but discloses a no date for that, but does mention a beta multiple times. It seems then this will be a significant moment and a step forward for the game, but unlikely to happen for quite a few years, at least I would speculate so. First up on the cards would be the new tech that everyone's been waiting for. This is a server meshing. It will allow the servers to better handle the amount of traffic and data that flows through them and is essential for the next star system of Pyro. A year ago or so, people broadly expected the server meshing to release at some point in 2022. Now, due to the complexities of development with Star Citizen, that has been delayed to the first quarter of 2023. However, we can really expect some future delays for this, some further delays, at least according to the article. Elliot Chin says, We can say that we are looking to get server meshing in by the end of next year, so that would be the end of 2023. Now, it's kind of unclear whether he means the first implementation of server meshing here or the final and full implementation, but, you know, it kind of seems that he's suggesting that this will be the initial implementation. So yeah, quite a way away, and still a bit of a delay there to be expected. In fact, the article goes on to say that CIG are well aware of players' frustrations, and that they do understand, but the enemy, as always, is time, and this is something that CIG do struggle with. Jin went on to say that largely this is due to the technological boundaries that are being developed for the game. He said, Complex new systems that have never been built before, we can't change time. We can't make things go faster than they're going to take. We're in the same boat as those people. We're just as eager to play the full game as they are. And yeah, understandably, people are of course eager to play the game after 10 years of waiting so far since initially pledging the first time they would have backed would have been on the Robert's Space Injury website in, I think, October of 2012, or maybe it was September, around about that date anyway, very long time ago at this point. Of course, the argument to support that is that nothing like Star Citizen has ever been attempted. It's something you'll hear a lot of fans and a lot of supporters of the game at repeating quite frequently. Nevertheless, despite the game's lofty ambitions and the massive fundings, the slow development pace often results in some quarters of the internet considering the title to be a scam. The article suggested that the author and uh, Elliot Chin did discuss these so-called controversies. According to the article, Elliot said that some of these controversies go back as far as five years, but none of that happens anymore. Sometimes we have to, you know, answer questions about the past, which is fair, because those things that did happen. But I will tell you that the project has not really been in any of that situation in at least the last four years. Further to that, he said four years ago, people were saying, oh, this game is a scam, I can't believe it. Or how can we still be taking money from people? Now when it hits our gaming on Reddit, people are saying like, oh, that's Star Citizen, that looks amazing. I want to go check it out. And that's where the whole quote about bad publicity comes in. He observed, anytime there's something negative about us, people actually go on to recommend the game to their friends. There's the saying that no publicity is bad publicity. 
but even our bad publicity is good for us. In short, CIG preferred to allow the game to speak for them, to allow people to discover Star Citizen for itself. Jin also went on to say that CIG never respond to negative comments, or indeed negative media. There's a bunch of discussion about negative media specifically relating to articles in 2019, but also some other issues as well. I won't go into all of them too much here, as I have discussed them on the channel previously. Suffice to say that CIG are not too enamoured with all of that negativity and really don't see it as too much of a problem. Partly because since then the game has moved on and has, they feel, progressed tremendously. But also because, at least in my interpretation, it seems that CIG uh, feel that some of the negativity has come from the wrong aspects or the wrong areas of the community. As an example of that, Erin Roberts actually mentioned the uh, well, talking with the ex-employees. That's perhaps not the best way, he feels, of going around finding out about the game itself and CIG. Of course, the negativity isn't all just about the slow pace of development. It's also about the money itself. Where is the money going? Well, here, Erin Roberts confirmed that CIG now has staff of 1,000 people. That is a significant number. They have, they say, studios all over the world. 550 people working out of the UK, 150 in Montreal, and around about 130 in LA, as in the same in Texas and Frankfurt. That's five offices worldwide and a lot of development costs, so that explains, they feel, where the money is going. They also feel that, regarding money specifically, there was a lot of discontentment between 2017 and 2018. And that back then, CIG gave everyone the opportunity to be refunded. That, I feel, at least as what I can understand, I might be wrong here, but it's very different to what Eurogamer reported on back in 2016. You can see that right here. That people had great difficulty in getting refunds, to the point and to the extent where CIG actually, that's a Eurogamer claim, changed the terms of service to make it more difficult for people to get refunds. So what Chin says there apparently seems to be at odds with what Eurogamer posted back in 2016. But there is a discrepancy there between the days 2016 and 2018, so maybe that accounts for it. At any rate, the article does have a bit more content in it than what I've discussed here so far, in fact, quite a bit more. So I do recommend that you check it out. I will link it in the video description below. The main takeaway points for me are the subjects on server meshing, something that we're long awaiting for. We can see the pyro footage, in fact, on the screen right here. This footage is a number of years old at this point and still hasn't made the appearance into the game. So the fact that CIG via this article are saying that we shouldn't really expect server meshing until the end of 2023, well, that's a little bit of a shame, probably a bit more than a shame, actually. Uh, very eagerly awaiting us to see this and to get hands on it. It all looks pretty good. The other main takeaway point for me is that CIG appeared to feel that any negativity and any bad publicity about Star Citizen really are not a problem. Another way of looking at that, then, is that CIG feel that things are going very well indeed right now for Star Citizen, and that the future for the game is likely very bright. Of course, that doesn't mean we can expect a beta or full release anytime soon. It just means that CIG are happy with things the way things are right now and with the way content is developing. Do let me know your thoughts and feelings on all of this in the comments section below. Do you see any surprises here with, uh, with what CIG have said? Is that something you expected or perhaps didn't expect? And what do you feel about CIG's take on the pace of development as well as their so-called advanced technology that has never really been made before? Let me know in the comments section below. I'd love to hear from you. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys and girls next time.